So guys, we've talked about and discussed the various types of um, outlets that we have along with viewing the different um, installation aspects for these outlets and why some of them they are preferred in comparison to the other one and what um, criteria limits the choice for these outlets in terms of site applications now um, but it's always important to keep in mind that the main goal for any of those uh, outlets is the following now the air distribution terminals they should be efficiently um, selected uh, to provide the required conditioned air into the space therefore ensuring mixing of the air in the space at the same time complying with architectural constraints you want to make sure that the air flowing into your space is properly being mixed and it's complementing the architectural and interior design features you don't want to compromise on both ends. You want to find a solution that meets both ends requirements. Now, let's take a look at this visual representation on the right side. Now, this represents a poorly designed distribution system where you have an outlet and in one, one cubicle, let's say with an office, the employee is feeling really cold. One of them is okay and the other one is feeling too hot. Now, this clearly represents an uneven distribution of air within the space. Therefore, the design is considered a failure. Why? Because you are not able to meet the required criteria or main goal, which is proper mixing in this case. You could be complementing the architectural design features, but there's no, no proper mixing of the air into the space which makes your design a failure in this case. On the other hand, they could be feeling perfectly okay in the space, but you can have a huge diffuser, let's say propelling from the ceiling, and it looks visually um, impairing to the people walking into the space. So you, you have failed on the other end, which is the architectural and interior design end. So your main goal is to find an outlet, design and locate an outlet that's going to be meeting the proper mixing criteria along with the architectural and interior design criteria. So it's always to keep it's always good to keep this in mind as this is basically will be the main focus along with the design criteria that we talked about at the beginning of the master class as we proceed into the application and the design process and procedure for the outlets.